Alrighty, welcome back. Let's get things rolling after this morning. Seeing some fog in a few spots this morning. Some rain showers as well. Tomahawk looking a little dreary out there. The pavement's definitely wet and some people definitely make their morning commutes to work or school this morning. But of course, areas of dense fog developing across parts of the Medford area and tracking off towards the north and east as well. We're seeing some of that. So some spots are down to a few miles or so. Eagle River and Lander Lakes improving just a little bit though, but we're still going to have to watch for that fog today though, or at least this morning, which may make it hard to see in a few spots. Low beam lights or fog lights will be your best friend. Do not use those high beam lights. That'll make it hard to see at times with the fog. But otherwise, the rain showers developing after this morning in a few spots. So in general, tracking off towards the north and east. So we'll throw the radar into motion. And in general, it's the southwest and northeast direction that we're seeing right now. So some spots will see some rainfall today. Others, maybe not as much. We could possibly see up to a half an inch of rainfall today and then maybe a little bit more later on tonight before we start to back things off Friday with still a few rain showers possible. But it could be worse. We're just seeing rain out there this morning known a few spots. Look what's happening in North Dakota and Montana and such with, with snow already developing in a few spots this morning. And they're going to be seeing a lot of snow over there though. Maybe up to a foot in a few spots before we're all finished up. Here we are in October and they're already dealing with snow over there. But for us though, just rain for now. We will have chances for snow in our forecast coming up soon, but nothing that will need to be too worrisome. As the big picture kind of shows this area, a little pressure here that's tracking off towards the north and east. And again, our, ch our lives really change tomorrow with the cold front moving through. And I'll bring the cold air in from Canada and that cold air will be here to stay. This yellow line we see right there is a dry line, which means it just removes the moisture from that particular area. But otherwise, so future gas moving forward, showing some rain moving through today. Notice it backs off a little bit later this afternoon. A few more pop-up showers during the afternoon period, so maybe another half inch or less for a few spots, not a whole lot. The notice will be really back things off for a bit Friday morning. A few more showers possible Friday morning before our lives really change during the afternoon period with a gusty west-northwest wind getting up to around 30 miles per hour at times, dropping temperatures in a big hurry as well before the clouds break up as we head towards early Saturday morning. So, so hopefully some sunshine on the way just in time for the weekend. But again, the rainfall looks a little bit like this. So this morning and throughout the daytime period, some spots would see up to a half an inch or so of rainfall. Other spots though could see possibly another half an inch or so maybe later on tonight. So maybe a half an inch to an inch of rain in total for a few spots. Others, not so much. So overall, the totals have come down since yesterday, which we're okay with. We've had some rainfall recently. A little bit more wouldn't hurt, but of course, they'll be need to catch a little bit, little bit of a break from the rainfall. But otherwise, though, some gusty winds possible this morning. That'll back off later on today. Then tomorrow at around 9 to 10 a.m., our lives really change with gusty winds up to around 20 to 30 miles per hour. Dropping temperatures in a big hurry, and these cooler temperatures will be here to stay for a good long while. But for now, not too bad this morning. Starting off in the 40s and many spots in the north woods this morning. Once you get to Tomahawk and Phillips and areas to the south, again, temperatures starting off in the 50s, even middle 50s in a few spots this morning. As our average high temperature is now 50 degrees. We'll reach for the upper 50s today and tomorrow. Tomorrow, though, that high temperature will be headed around 9 to 10 a.m. as we'll cool off into the 40s and 30s during the afternoon period. And Saturday and beyond, though, at least through Wednesday, highs in the 30s the next several days. So winter codes will be needed, though, as we cool off in a hurry. Rain likely today, maybe some thunder at, at times. Highs in the upper 50s and east wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later on tonight, mostly cloudy, maybe some rain showers on the way yet again. Lows in the upper 40s and the window for all looking nice and calm. Northwoods Furniture and for a seven-day forecast. More rain possible Friday morning. Highs in the upper 50s early and then cooling off through the afternoon period. Keep the winter coats ready. And Saturday and Sunday, we're looking dry. Mostly cloudy temperatures in the 30s. Snow showers possible Saturday night, but we're dry Monday. And then rain and snow chances possible just in time for Halloween.